solid lovers, I want to show you today the difference between a very fine chisel edge in the Japanese tradition made by us, solid techniques in Australia, um, sharpened in the same way, the same single bevel. Now we've talked about that and you've seen it in all our materials, but the bevel is only on this side. I'm right-handed, so the right side of the blade. That's my grip. The old-fashioned claw grip is still the best because that's where the knife is balanced, right there. So for the chefs that are doing a lot of this, the knife is almost weightless. But anyway, that edge, the magic comes when you see that that side is flat. The side that's against the bulk of the food is flat. The side doing the cutting is the bevel, and that, that's the only bevel. And sharpened 8,000 grit, it slices through. So let's have a look at what happens with this zucchini. Now this has been forged, hand forged, so you can see the texture on the back side. That really helps with aeration of the cut. But also on the front side we've still got a lot of our corrugations, our patented corrugations remaining. And then we've got the forged texture as well. That all helps, all that geometry and all that hand forging really helps the food release from the blade when you make a slice. So the flat face, no friction, it's flat. There's no sticking friction because there's no vacuum. All those hand hammered forge marks take care of that. But on the right side, you'll see what happens. The slice just peels away. Then we should compare that to one of the biggest selling Western knives. In fact, the biggest selling in Australia and a legend, but we'll compare them both. So if you've seen chefs do it, there's a really good reason why they use this claw grip on the food and this grip on the knife. The blade goes up against the knuckle. So the knuckle is the guide. But you've got to make sure that your knuckle is the most extreme point. Okay? So the blade's going to hit the knuckle, not touch your fingertip. So what we do, look at the way these slices don't stick to the blade. Right? come off because of the geometry. Now let's try, not to mention any brands, we'll try one of the other famous, by a famous Australian engineer, one of the other brands. Let's see what happens. Not bad, but this is what happens. A lot of, because you've got sticking friction, You've got a vacuum that forms between the blade and it's not the end of the world. You can just keep chopping. They'll come off at sea. Sometimes they get in the way. They get under your fingers. Some roll away like little wheels. Hang on like that. Gone. Kind of helped that one along, I must admit. But you know, you know, it's all happened to you before. So anyway, what we've got with our geometry is something that looks like magic, but it's just our solid techniques engineering, isn't it? It's something that we've worked out. I'll do it in this direction so you can see maybe a bit better what's happening. It's basically impossible for the food to stick when that's happening. And it's because of, oh, here comes the rain. Because of that geometry, and because of the surface texture and the chisel edge all makes that food peel away. Now that's a zucchini, always sticky, if you can still hear me. Always uh, one of the stickiest to a blade. Carrot doesn't really stick, but the nice thing about these Japanese chisel edges, that's a hard vegetable, right? Look at this. We can slice that basically as thin as we want. And that's um, a see-through carrot. 
because we've got, even though we've got a thick, strong blade, it's a chisel edge. So the inside face is flat against the food, the flat side of the blade, flat against the food. The chisel edge on that side. Now I can't make it stick, so I can't show you. Anything. See through carrot because of the chisel edge and very fine and thin Japanese knives that are sharpened in the Western way, symmetrical. They can be really sharp, they can make thin slices, but they'll be fragile. Um, this isn't a thin blade, this is solid three millimeters thick on the spine, but it can still make cuts like that because of that chisel edge sharpened to 8,000 grit on our inversion edge sharpening system um, with Japanese water stones. So it's hard work to create that edge in Australia, but we learned from the Japanese masters my time in Japan, forging knives and sharpening knives, and that's why we're getting an edge just like the Japanese masters in Australia. So, highly recommended if you want to take your slicing to the next level. This is really not like the western knives that you're used to. This is really something else. So get in quick because the lover's launch is about to end and that's it. We, um, as you know, we launch to lovers first and if you miss that then it goes to Kickstarter at a higher price and then sometime way down the track it'll go to retail. So highly recommend to get in now, get these uh, knives numbered in series, signed by, initialed by me, and uh, stamped first lover's edition, the most collectible of all the Solid Technics products. Thanks guys.